Hello, this is Kate, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for um, Monday, August the... Oh, it'll be the 8th, I'm not even sure what day it is today. So, for the next week. <laughs> okay, so beginning with the beginning of the week, and we've got Lakshmi, Bright Future. So this card says, stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. Okay, so that's a nice way to start the week. So if you've been feeling any kind of um, feelings of anxiety or worry about the future, you can um, be rest assured that moving into this week, you want to be very, very much relaxed and, and just put your mind at ease about the future. So kind of gain a, a very optimistic outlook on things. Um, so yeah, so the beginning of the week is more of a time when you can kind of let go of worry and you may really want to um, really establish more of a sense of trust in life. So if you're feeling like you're really kind of worrying about things and, and doubting things or particularly financial things if you're worrying about money and, and those kinds of things, um, this card is just a reminder that you can kind of refocus your, your attention and establish more of a sense of trust that things are going to work out for the best. So it's letting you know it's okay to expect good things and and also just kind of shifting your focus so you see the world in a more um, friendly way. So if you're starting to feel like the world is a very kind of tough, harsh place and people are out to get you, uh, this can be a nice time as you move into the beginning of your week to kind of reshift that whole idea and start start seeing the world as kind of a safe, um, a safe, happy place. Even if what you're observing doesn't necessarily reflect that, you can start to to think of um, think of the world as as a more friendlier place and the people um, in your life and at work as being as being people who are um, not so much out to get you, but there to help you. Okay, so the more you let go of this anxiety, um, the easier it's going to be to kind of release any blocks to any blocks to creativity or financial abundance, because the more anxious you are and the more tense you are, the more you tend to kind of block any kind of sense of flow. So you want to keep that flow of abundance um, happening. Okay, so near the middle of the week, we've got segment. Be strong. And this card says, you are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So whenever I get this card, I always think, oh, there's going to be challenges. Um, so there might be some, some I don't want to call them challenges, but opportunities near the middle of the week. Um, opportunities for you to kind of tap into that more assertive, uh, dominant side of yourself. So if you sense that anyone's trying to kind of dictate terms to you or kind of push you around, this card is just reminding you that you, you know, you don't need to let people push you around and you have it in, you have it in yourself to kind of stand your ground and, and be strong, like the card says. So it also reminds you, um, to, to really get out of any kind of victimhood thinking. So if you feel yourself kind of um, going into kind of a victim role, this can be a nice reminder to just kind of pull yourself out of that that pattern. So you want to be able to look at yourself in um, in a light that you know in the most flattering light, and be able to see yourself as being a very strong, capable person who's capable of standing up for yourself. Okay, so and I think and I think being strong doesn't necessarily have to mean blocking your emotions. Um, or holding back in any way. You still want to be authentic and, and be able to, to, you know, express emotions and, but you want to make sure that you, um, kind of keep that, um, sense of high self-esteem. Okay, so near the end of the week, near the end of the week we've got Dana, High Priestess. And this card says, you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Okay, so I think this card is all about kind of realizing, um, or not so much realizing, but acknowledging our our talents um, and our gifts and our abilities, and, and kind of acknowledging that these 
can be of use to other people and that um, you know that these are very valuable things so I think I always see this card as kind of like a teacher card like now is the time to kind of step forward and and um, and kind of mentor someone or coach someone or even like lead a workshop or teach a class but it's kind of the ability you really want to kind of nurture that ability to share what you know and share your knowledge and your wisdom um, yeah, so I always think this card means kind of getting your ideas out there so others can, can benefit from them. So it could be like writing an article, um, or just doing some creative writing, um, or even like public speaking, doing a talk, uh, or a workshop or something like that. But it's, it's, um, it's, it always kind of signifies that it's time to start seeing yourself more in that kind of teacher uh, role, and seeing yourself more as a role model for others because you do have very valuable knowledge and experience and I think the weekend is a perfect time to kind of start sharing that experience with others. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful and um, thank you so much for joining me.